Hello everyone! Today I will show you how students can use Genially to create a digital product in which they will reinvest their understanding. What's interesting about Genially is that it works on all types of devices. Whether your student's final product is flexible or very guided, Genially offers many reinvestment opportunities. So I will first go to genial.ly and sign in or log in with my professional email. Once I'm in, you will see that Genially offers many different digital products in which students could potentially reinvest their understanding. I will click on Create Genially and start from a template. You have different types of templates. You have games and challenges, quizzes and forms, presentation, courses, infographics, videos, digital publishing. I will, for this uh, tutorial, click on infographics. What I like to do is first come here and, and uncheck the premium uh, template because I don't want to I don't want to use premium templates. I only want to see the free templates. So I know that once I choose one, I know I'm allowed to use it. So I have many different infographics right here. I will choose this one right here. So I'll click on the template and click on use template. So whatever type of product your students choose or you impose to your student as a reinvestment task, the same options will be available on the left hand side. So I'll show it to you for this interactive recipe, but uh, keep in mind that these options will be the same whatever type of product you choose. So first you have the text. So whether it is for uh, choosing, adding a text box, or changing the text that you have uh, that's already on the template, you will choose the text option. So here, let's say I want to change the interactive recipe. I can come here, change the font and the size. So I have all the options just right here. I can also play with the order. So if I wanted my text to be behind the uh, the picture, I could do that. So that's it. Now, I the other options I, ha I have is image. So if I look for an image, let's say this one, I'll look for a Sunday. I have images and GIFs. If I go lower, I have different images that I can use. We see these ones right here are from Pexels. Sometimes, like for this one, I don't see it, but sometimes you also have images from other platforms. I could go in gifts, animated gifts, if I wanted to add an animated gift to my presentation, just like here. Then you have the resource option. So you have different icons, shape, connectors, illustrations. You have a bunch of tools here to make your infographic or digital product more interesting. I'll add a, um, an icon for this one, show more. So I'll use that little planet right here. Okay. So these are the resources. You can always come here at the top. You always have more options. Once you've chosen either your text, your image, you have additional options that you can choose from. For instance, for this icon, I could choose the color and decide that I want it to be red. There you go. Interactive elements are very interesting in Genially. It's one of the uh, advantages of using Genially, in my opinion. So once I put a digital element in here, these ones are digital elements. Once you click on a digital element, it can open either a window, a tooltip, a link, go to a page, and audio. So that's interesting. And we'll try it just so you can see. So I will use this little interactive element here. We see it's, it was already chosen to be a tooltip, so I'll click on it. You see this content. If I would be looking at the, the genuinely, it would show me this um, text. So it's like the text appears over the icon. 
However, let me delete that. So I would like to include another interactive element. So I click on my icon and I will add interactivity. For this one, I would like it to be a window that opens. Add window. My window will be just like this. And then I can come and add what I want the students to see in the window. Window. This is new content. It only appears when clicking on the interactive elements. I could add a picture, other text, so it would look like this. So let me close this for the moment. There, oh, back to page, sorry. So I'll click on present just to show you how it, what it will look like. So once I click on my interactive element, this is my interactive element. The window appears with my new content, so the students uh, can put more content into these windows to put more of the information they've understood from the text in their reinvestment task. Or if the, the teacher is preparing the, uh, the template for students, for instance, they could have the windows already set up for students to add the information. There you go. So I'll go back to my edit. I have interactive questions that I can use in my presentations as well. I could insert an image, an audio, a video that I have on my computer, and I can also change the uh, background. So let's say I want to have gray just like this, so I could change the background of my presentation. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you to use the different uh, options in Genially when you're using a template to reinvest understanding. Thank you.